There's nothing more comforting than a big knife in the woods, but even more so in a survival situation. And we're going to take a look at the CRKT Chance in Hell. And, you know, you always hear this saying, you don't have a chance in hell. Well, this one will give you that chance. And this is a Ken Onion design, beautiful knife. In fact, this knife has not been released yet. CRKT is just announcing this at the SHOT Show this week in 2014. So I was really excited about getting a hold of one of these blades. And this is a machete, but it's a survival machete. As you can see, it has the drop point blade, and it is a flat grind. And it's made of carbon steel, which, as you guys know, I really like carbon steel. And this is a really handy, very ergonomic machete. Great for light brush, great for doing a lot of camp and field work. So we're going to take a look at the CRKT Chance Inhale, and looks like Ken Onion's done it again. Now the overall length is 17 and 3 quarter inches, and the blade is 12 inches. So you're going to get a lot of blade and yet not a super long machete. And I kind of feel like this kind of goes in between a machete and a survival knife. Which to me, when I'm grabbing one knife, I want something to be a little dual purpose. Uh, of course, it's according to where you are. Uh, if you're out in the woods and there's a lot of small fine vines and brush and a lot of things that need to be cleared, this is an excellent choice because you do have the other options of it just being a good knife for utility purposes. Being a machete, it's not going to be super thick, and you don't want it to be because you're going to be swinging this blade and getting a lot of debris out of the way. So you, this is about 0.1 inches or about 3 millimeters. Again, it is a flat grind and it is a drop point. I really like that feature of the knife. I mean, I have large survival knives that are very similar to this, smaller, a little thicker, um, actually probably even a little heavier. This weighs 18 ounces uh, with just the knife itself, and then with the sheath it weighs uh, 23 ounces. The steel is 65 MN carbon steel, and this is going to be great to be able to, you know, just keep sharp, but also if you need to kind of touch it up, it's real easy to do out in the woods. has a nice rubberized grip, and this is a polypropylene core and then it has the rubberized uh, overmold on top. Uh, it's going to be very ergonomic, got finger grooves, and then you have a guard right here to protect your hand. Plus, when you're pulling the knife back, uh, you're going to be able to pull it out of tight spots. And the hilt's going to add to be able to draw this back out. Stainless steel insert tubes all the way through. And this gives you a lot of different lanyard points to be able to put uh, different handles. Of course, you can do just a standard lanyard here, and then you can use this to go around your hand. Uh, you know, one of the things about a machete while you're swinging, you don't want to let go of this, and it just gives you a little bit of extra security. It does have grooves along the top. Of course, this isn't true jimping, but it does give you a good thumb hold right here when you're really coming down. Now, this is a Ken Onion design, which is no surprise because of the, the fluid lines. Um, it is, this is a first production run, and it has a powder coat finish, this black, and almost a satin finish. The Rockwell hardness on the blade is 52 to 56, so it has a really good hardness, and that's really needed with this type blade because how thin it is, and it's really going to allow you to really chop uh, and hack. It comes with a nylon sheath, and there are three snap points on the sheath itself to be able to draw this in different ways. Of course it has a synthetic texturing inside uh, to be able to protect the knife and this will keep moisture from building up which if it was leather it would build up moisture and with this carbon steel blade I think that's going to help with protection. Um, I noticed as I was drawing the blade itself I didn't need to release these two straps. This single strap here which holds the grip into place I think is sufficient but you may want to loosen that top strap because it could start to cut into the uh, the sheath. Of course, there are grommets all along to protect from that as well. Of course, the grommets allow for the strap to come through. You can strap this to your leg. You can strap it to a pack as well. And so that really adds the versatility. And then also, this strap system is pretty unique. Uh, it does have a metal ring here, and then it comes through. It is a Velcro design. You can wear it strapped to your belt, or you can release this. And then here, you can drop it down low on your leg. And it's got the CRKT logo right on the sheath. Now you can go to the CRKT website and get all the details about the Chance Inhale. And an excellent knife for the field and really good high quality. And CRKT does a fantastic job. Um, I know one of the things with the, the CRKT Kanji and 
how well it handled just total abuse and these knives can just handle it and guys when you're out and you're depending on something you really need to have something that has high quality and that withstand the harsh elements of course right from the factory excellent paper cutting good sharp edge right from the factory Now that's pretty impressive. It's not really a chopper, but I'll tell you what, you could do it, man. Now you notice how that thin blade will start to get hung up on big limbs like this, especially hardwood. But if you just keep it up, it'll take it. Try that with a regular machete, no way. Wow, I love this. In just a matter of minutes, cleared this whole area out with this tool. This is excellent. This is a trailblazer. Oh yeah, baby. You want to feel like a man, get you one of these and clear out this area. <laughs> Even if you're not trailblazing the Old West, you might get a project done that your wife's been wanting you to do for a year. And that'd be well worth buying this blade. We got this three inch, three and a half inch little tree here. We need to take it out. Timber! Woo. Oh yeah! Now if you tree huggers out there, yes, I am chopping down live trees. And we're getting ready to clear this area anyway. 
course we're gonna bring a bobcat and clear this area right but I tell you what if I didn't have a bobcat I'd consider the chance in hell because I have a chance in hell to clear this whole area with this blade when I first got it I checked out this handle pretty good and I started swinging it and I felt like that maybe this would wear on your hands because of this rubberized feel you know against your skin and after taking it out in fact I was even considering using gloves but after taking it out and really putting it through its paces it held up very well it absorbed most of the shock and really there was a couple of times where my hand would start to slide and this would catch it and even when my pinky fell off I was able to grab hold of the hilt so this is really a great handle and I'm very surprised actually one thing I would highly recommend though is to get a lanyard because when you're swinging this you don't want this thing to let go there were a couple of times where I was swinging it and I was bringing it down and you know I could have cut myself if I hadn't been more careful so be careful out there guys it's really important get a good firm grip hold on to that blade because not only you could get hurt but you could hurt someone with you you want to take care of business buy you a good quality knife the CRKT chance in hell it's excellent you know this country was founded on hard work and rugged individualism and having tools like this allows you to get back and relive that spirit but I sure am glad they're making chainsaws now of course you want to put a little coat of oil on it after you've used it uh, just because it is carbon steel mainly on the edge because really uh, this held up very well that powder coat held up uh, of course there's scuffs from chopping but man this blade just really did well the chance in hell will be in available soon and you can get this at goinggear.com i'll have the link below and you can get a 10 percent discount using suits in the coupon code and you get free shipping where orders over 49 dollars so a great deal crkt and going gear work together closely and from the kanji review i did the uh, tomahawk uh, crkt really <laughs> liked that video so that's one of the reasons why they sent this and thanks to Marshall at Going Gear those guys are great to deal with and uh, check them out CRKT makes great products Going Gear is a great place to get it and no this is not a paid endorsement the CRKT chance in hell thumbs up be strong be of good courage God bless America long live the Republic This is not the chance in hell, it's the chance in hell. That sounds kind of German.